Hi everybody. Uh, if you found this video, maybe you have the exact same problem that I came across. I'm uh, working on my daughter's 2005 Scion TC and I was going to change the spark plugs. Actually, I was changing the uh, valve cover gasket, but also doing the spark plugs at the same time. And the spark plug wire, which is right here, uh, where it goes onto the uh, coil pack, which then goes down to the spark plug. Um, you may have noticed that the clips that hold the wire harness onto the pack are very brittle. Um, this car has 200,000 miles on it. Um, and when you go to push down on them, like here, um, they snap almost instantaneously. They just almost disappear because they, they clip, they snap off and go flying. Um, I didn't even notice it on the first one until I went to go put it back on. So, um, the problem being, once that snapped off, there's nothing to hold this harness on back in place once you go to put it back on. So I managed to snap three of them. Um, on the fourth one, I was finally hip to it. Only took three. <laughs> um, on the fourth one, what I used was a very small flathead screwdriver and carefully put the tip of it under, under the clip and just kind of inched it up a little bit at a time and then was able to back off the harness. Um, took me two tries to do that successfully. One of them snapped at doing that as well. So anyway, uh, long story short, I kind of came up with my own solution uh, to hold them on. The uh, Apparently to replace the, the wires as part of a huge harness, I don't know if it's huge, it's just expensive. From a dealer is about $900 to $1,000 or so I was told. You might be able to get one from a junkyard and you might be able to find the parts to repair it. Although I looked on forums quite a bit and I saw some mention, mention of it for some other model Toyotas. It probably can be done, but you know what? I gotta get this done. So my solution was using wire ties. Uh, long, sorry, just got distracted for a second. Uh, the longest wire ties I had were, were eight inches. And what I did was I took two of them and put them together like so um, and see what I could show you how I did this um, I have two that are one that's completely done one I just have I haven't clipped off the ends just so you can see what it looks like but basically um, I did not zip them together first what I did was I put one let's see if I could get this light I took one and put it around the back side. Um, and then I took the other one and fed the skinny end of it through the wiring harness like so. And then I connected the two together here. Um, and then I just slowly zipped them tight um, so that I have one locking over here and one locking here. And they zip down real tight. Uh, the, the first one I had to push, I had to push down underneath here to get it around. It's a little too tight right there. But if anything, that'll hold it in there. Um, so that's what they look like. They're very snug. I couldn't pull that thing off if I wanted to. Um, it's not so tight that it's going to break anything. But I cannot get it off. I'll have to clip it to get it off again. Um, that's what it looks like before I clip. The, the extra off and then I just have that one left to do now and I will be done hope this is helpful to somebody and if anybody has better ideas post them below uh, maybe you could help somebody else see you later